Hello and welcome back to this installment in this uh, series on the Surya Namaskar as a vehicle for analysis across various uh, branches of the lineage tradition of Sri T. Krishnamacharya. So the first video we looked at the um, manner of performing Surya Namaskar in the Ashtanga Vinyasa method which uh, we also examined the means to come to the floor to then practice Paschimottanasana um, and Purvottanasana, the counter pose. And this Paschimottanasana being an important historical asana that's documented even in the medieval Hatha yoga texts. The second video we uh, then moved on to look at Surya Namaskar in Iyengar Yoga, which uh, we first looked at BKS Iyengar's um, depiction in light, in light on Yoga, but then seeing how Surya Namaskar was performed differently as time went on in Iyengar Yoga method, such as in uh, BKS Iyengar's daughter's publications, Gita Iyengar's publications, Yoga in Action. And uh, then we saw, and that, so we, we stopped there. And we'll proceed from there to then finally look at what uh, Vinyasa Krama is meant to look like, to uh, compare and contrast to what we have seen up to now. I'll start with the uh, customary invocation to Patanjali. Oh, my Hindu Karatane, Ane Muhatane, Dini Lampere, Pondre, Etrane, Nandi Mahandane, Yana Kurundane, Pondi Vaita di Putru in Rene, Yes Yakva Rupa Madhyam, Prabhava di Jagato, Nekada Nugrahaya, Prakshina Kleshara Shira Visham of Vishadaro, Nekavakra Subhogi, Sarvagnana Prasutir Bushakaparikara, Prite Sinitiam. Nevo hi isha savo via cita vimalata no yoga do yoga yuktaha yoga na chitta sia padena va cham alam shari rasya chevai yakena potam pravaram muni nam patanjalim pranjari rana tosmi aba hu purushakaram shanka chakrasid harinam sasra shirasham shwetam pranamami patanjalim Srimate Anantaya Nagarajaya Namo Namaha Asmadachari Bhyasrave Bhyo Namo Namaha Om. All right, thanks again for joining. Um, so I'll share screen here. So this is the document I had put together. Um, first, we looked at Surya Namaskar in the Ashtanga Vinyasa method as Patabi Joyce uh, propagated. Patabi Joyce being a pupil of Sri Tirmalai Krishnamacharya's from uh, Krishnamacharya's Mysore period when he was teaching in Mysore in the 1930s and 1940s. So, this is one such Surya Namaskar that you see in uh, Joyce's uh, depictions, he called it Surya Namaskar A. And each position was counted as such. So we had A come the first position, Due, the second position, Trini, the third position, Chatwari. Fourth position, Pancha. The fifth position, Shat. The sixth position, Sapta. The seventh position, Ashtol. The eighth position, and then Nava. The ninth position, and then back to Samastiti. Everything coordinated by the breath. The closest to the 
prostration is the dand uh, pose, the staff, the stick pose, chataranga dandasana with the four limbs touching the floor, the, the palms and the feet. We also saw the Surya Namaskar B in Ashtanga Vinyasa method. This one having uh, 17 such vinyasas. Ekam, Dve, Trini, Chatwari, Pancha, Shat. This is a Sapta, Ashto, Nava, Dasha, Ekadasha, Vadasha, Trayodasha, Chaturdasha, Panchadasha, Shodasha, and finally, Sapta Dasha, 17th position, and back to Samastiti. Starting in Samastiti and ending in Samastiti. So we also, of course, saw the uh, means to come to the floor for Paschimottanasana. and also the um, Purvottanasana. So the way it's described in Yoga Mala and in Krishnamacharya's Yoga Makaranda for that matter, is with a full vinyasa from Samastiti. But the way it tends to be practiced nowadays in Ashtanga Vinyasa is by half vinyasa. So preceding Paschimottanasana, one is the standing, but then following Paschimottanasana, one doesn't come back all the way up to Samastiti with half vinyasa, only going up to the position like the shat position, the position, the sixth position, Adho Mukhishvanasana, before simply jumping through again straight away to perform the um, Dandasana momentarily before lifting up to the, the next pose. So we won't look at uh, both Surya Namaskaras, but uh, let's just uh, for a moment um, go back to the video and watch the Surya Namaskar um, that uh, Joyce leads, Surya Namaskar A. So I'll share a screen here with sound. Ye come in hand. Dwe exam. Three knee inhale head up. Chatwari jump back. Pancha inhale. Shed exam. Breathe. Look your navel. One. Two. Three. Four, five, Sapta jump, inhale, Ashto exhale, Nava inhale, hands up, 
Samastidihi. All right. And if we just jump quickly to the um, vinyasas of Paschimottanasana and Purvottanasana, just to review what we have seen thus far. After completing the standing series, one then comes to the floor to begin whatever series one is practicing here being the primary series, which begins with Dandasana and Paschimottanasana. Up, straight. Dvadasha Chattvari, Trayodasha Inhale, Chaturdasha Exhale, Paschimatana Sana Sapta Jump Through. Five breathing. One, straight back. Two, three, four. Five, Ashto, inhale, exhale, take your toes, head up, inhale, Nava, exhale, one, two, three, Four, five, dasha, inhale, exhale, lock your hands, head up, inhale, nama, exhale, one, two, three, Four, five, dasha, inhale, exhale, ekadasha, up, inhale, dvadasha, chattvari, trayodasha, inhale, chaturdasha, exhale, purvatanasana, sapta, jamtru, Purvatanasana, Ashto, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, Nama, exhale, Dasha, up, Yeka, Dasha, Chattvari, Dvadasha, inhale, Trayodasha, exhale, Ardha, Baddha, And we'll stop there. So now, just going back to the uh, screen, the uh, other screen share. So, While Joyce mentions mantras, like as deriving in the Rig Veda, uh, also uh, seen in the Yajur Veda, such as Tridrogam uh, Mama Surya, Surya Yanamaha, well, I completed with the Laukika mantra, or Arimanansha Nashaya. Um, so these these mantras, the der deriving from the Vedas, he met, he brings up the use of mantras, but as you can see, predominantly he didn't he didn't teach um, 
Samantraka practice using mantras. Um, though Krishnamacharya in his 1934 Yoga Makaranda mentions the possibility of practicing Samantraka or Amantraka, depending on uh, one's level of initiation into the uh, mantra chanting. Uh, so Krishnamacharya does not describe explicitly in Yoga Makaranda, the Surya Namaskar, but he does, does describe um, the Vinyasa Krama to come to the floor to perform any number of floor asanas. Uh, the first one that he presents is Paschimottanasana, again, because it is such a, an important historical asana, he brings it up uh, fairly early in, in the book. So we can go there too. Um, also, before I go there, I want to bring up how Patabi Joyce mentions that uh, here not to use Kumbhaka, neither in the asanas nor in Surya Namaskar. So this is in contrast to what uh, Krishnamacharya describes as uh, possible in um, the Vinyasa Krama that he's he's teaching even as of 1934 in his Yoga Yoga Makaranda. So Kumbhaka and Uttanasana, Samastiti, Uttanasana. Then the Chaturanga Dandasana. Do only Raya Chaka. So here, Kumbhaka is not indicated. But moving to um, Chaturanga Dandasana would have been done on the Kumbhaka prior. So that would be inhale, raise your arms, exhale. Hold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, look up. And hold the breath in. Then jump back and perform Chaturanga Dandasana, exhaling. He also mentions that anything that's done, indicated to be done on inhale, hold, can be done on exhale, hold, rather. Depending on... Uh, one's constitution, exhale hold may be uh, more uh, easy to perform. So he gives this as an option with the nuance of either it being Brahmana Kriya, which is using the inhale hold or Langana Kriya, having to do with expulsion, exhale oriented, so the exhale retention. So nonetheless, Chaturanga Dandasana, then Urdhva Mukhashwanasana, And then there's indication for the inhale retention, Kumbhaka. And then the following being Adho Mukhashvanasana. And then following this, the indications for performing the Paschimottanasana, first jumping through and coming to Dandasana. So in this stiti, push the chest forward, do Puraka, Kumbhaka, and gaze steadily. So at the tip of the nose, so here in Dandasana, one can perform Kumbhaka. After this, extend both arms out towards the feet. The legs are already extended in front. Clasp the big toes of the feet tightly with the first three fingers, that's thumb, index, and middle fingers, of the hands, such that the left hand holds the left big toe and the right hand holds the right big toe. Do not raise the knees even slightly, that is not to bend the knees, at least in this uh, classical instruction of the asana. Then pull in the stomach while doing reya chaka exhalation. Lower the head and press the face down onto the knee. The knees should not rise from the ground in the stiti either. So this is in performing Paschimottanasana. So this is uh, 
again, in a classical way, in not bending the knees, the ninth vinyasa of, of this uh, krama to get to Paschimottanasana is the state of the asana, the actual position in question. So this is called Paschimottanasana. And uh, then the, the means to return exactly as we saw uh, in the video of Ashtanga Vinyasa Patabi Joyce leading, except it's even indicated to come forward to standing to Uttanasana and then ultimately coming up to stand in Samastiti. Full Vinyasa is indicated. All right, and this is uh, in drawings how it is indicated. the middle of the sequence when it comes to the state of the asana, the ninth vinyasa, and then one proceeds to come back up to stand in samastiti. It began in samastiti, it ended in samastiti. So again, um, Surya Namaskar isn't explicitly described in his Yoga Makaranda, but he mentions the possibility of practicing samantraka or amantraka. Samantraka is an old practice. Uh, the first practices described with mantra are, of course, pranayama, which you can see even going back to Vedic ritual and the Manu Smriti uh, uh, deals with this and speaks to the um, use of mantra in pranayama as such, the using the Vedic mantra. So this relates to what Joyce alludes to, but apparently didn't teach the uh, Western uh, students that were coming to him. Of course, um, students of the Bharata, Bharata being the land of Bharata, the in India, in essence, um, obviously were familiar with mantras, mantra chanting, those initiated into the Vedas would be familiar with those chants as well, such as the one from the Rig Veda mentioned here. And also, it, interesting enough, the uh, distinction that uh, Patabi Joyce was uh, saying that one should not practice Kumbhaka during the practice of asanas in Surya Namaskar strictly. Only uh, Kumbhaka indicated for pranayama practice proper in Joyce's teachings. But nevertheless, Krishnamacharya's teachings, he does indicate one can, one can perform kumbhaka in, in a lot of these asanas. Now, moving along. Of course, Yoga Mala does describe the exact same sequence to, to come back up to Samastiti in the full vinyasa format. And we saw, of course, Nancy Gilgoff talking about how Patabi Joyce uh, taught her that one doesn't necessarily have to do vinyasa between every single pose you can group uh, a category of poses together before bookending it in uh, vinyasa as such either half vinyasa or coming back up to samastiti in this more explicit fashion of starting in samastiti and then ending in samastiti the importance of the breath. Of course, Patavi Joyce was highlighting that the breath is what it's all about. Ashtanga Vinyasa meant to be a breathing practice as such. And then we saw a comparison of what uh, the professor said. He said, that the movements should not be fast because doing so 
will distort the blood circulation and the respiration is uh, likely to bring injury just in the in the uh, logical rationale that if one is moving quickly one is, there's more chance to uh, get injured if one is moving slowly carefully mindfully governed by the correct breathing the proper respiration there's less likelihood of resulting in injury not to say you can't be mindful moving quickly but it's there's certainly uh less uh opportunity to to carefully uh assess what is happening throughout a movement as such that's only that that's all that's being said and then moving on bks Iyengar in uh, light on yoga first uh, i'll uh, review some of the books so of course yoga mala patabi joyce And we're always comparing to Krishnamachari's 1934 work, the Yoga Makaranda. And now what I just pulled up was from BKS Iyengar's Light on Yoga, 1966. So of course, Yoga Mala was 1962 and Iyengar's Light on Yoga this is 1966. Did I say that correctly? Yoga Mala of Joyce, 1962. Light on Yoga from BK Sangar is 1966. So in Yoga, in uh, Light on Yoga, rather, uh, because Iyengar um, described the sequence for performing Surya Namaskar as such, as follows. Quite similar to the Surya Namaskar A in Ashtanga Vinyasa. Um, and I include each panel with its individual description as uh, found in the uh, Light on Yoga, including the list of benefits, similar to what we do see in uh, Krishnamacharya's presentation in his 1934 Yoga Makaranda. And then for the sake of uh, speaking about Pachimottanasana, as we saw earlier, as it's an important asana to use as an example as part of this. Dandasana is described, the staff pose, the seated staff pose in any case. And then Pachimottanasana proper, along with the counter pose, Purvottanasana. And then we saw um, as appearing in uh, pupils of Iyengar's, a pupil of Iyengar's, uh, says Silva Mehta in her 1990 publication, Yoga the Iyengar Way. Surya Namaskar has described what, as what we will see in Gita Iyengar's um, presentation in the Yoga in Action books. So let me uh, stop share and show. So of course, the uh, Iyengar Way book from Silva Mehta and her uh, two children, this book, very good book for uh, indicating basically where Iyengar Yoga eventually evolved to from his initial 1966 publication of Light on Yoga. Now, as far as the uh, Yoga in Action series from Gita Iyengar, the daughter of BKS Iyengar, the preliminary course as seen here, and also the intermediate course, because incidentally, she gives a different version for the Surya Namaskar, Namaskar in the intermediate course from the same uh, Yoga in Action series. So I'll go back to the screen to share. Oops. 
So here, the middle of the sequence is Chaturanga Dandasana. That's the closest that we come to full prostration. So here, instead of jumping straight to Chaturanga Dandasana and then doing, doing Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, Adho Mukha Svanasana, and then jumping forward and coming to stand, the jump back is actually straight to Adho Mukha Svanasana, and then moving into its opposite form, the Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, and then coming down to Chaturanga Dandasana, then Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, Adho Mukha Svanasana, jump forward and come stand up. Now, um, also to note that in this case, Ashtanga vinyasas, Surinamskar A has nine vinyasas, and uh, Surinamskar B has 17. Here, basically, if you counted it, it's essentially 12 movements, 12 individual positions. Some are repeated, in the, incidentally. And mantras are given not for each position in, in this presentation, but uh, for e, for re, a repetition of 12 Surinamaskar uh, progressions, chanting once for each sequence. Nevertheless, do take note, there's 12 mantras. Here are the Laukika mantras, the, uh, the Puranic um, names for the sun god. And then from the intermediate uh, course, where she is explaining that one can jump straight to Chaturanga Dandasana, like we we do see in the other forms, even in I, BKS Iyengar's Light on Yoga, jumping straight to Chaturanga Dandasana, then doing Adho Mukhishvanasana, that following with the similar sequence that we saw in the preliminary course. Adho Mukha Svanasana, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, then Chaturanga Nadasana at the center, then again Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, Adho Mukha Svanasana, jump forward and come stand up. So here, jump back to Chaturanga Dandasana, but then go to Adho Mukha Svanasana. And then instead of going straight to Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, you're putting a Chaturanga Dandasana in between. Do, do Chaturanga Dandasana again. Then Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. And then Chaturanga Dandasana again before coming to Adho Mukha Svanasana. So it's more strenuous, always dipping down to do the Chaturanga Dandasana, then jump forward and come stand up. So um, let me just stop share here and we'll just show an example. in Iyengar Yoga, doing the Surya Namaskar. So I'll show from this, this uh, YouTube channel called AP Yoga India. We saw it last time as well. Here, let me share screen. Notice the bending of the knees in order to jump back. And landing with bent knees before straightening for Uttanasana. So I'll stop share. And then again, for the sake of uh, covering also the uh, asana in question that we were looking at, Paschimottanasana. I'll pull that video up as well again. 
Lois Steinberg as appearing on the Roads to Bliss uh, YouTube channel. It's a, a YouTube channel specializing in Iyengar yoga. Now put the blankets back to center for Paschimottanasana. Adjust the backs of the thighs out, come to the front of the buttock bones. If you need the strap, have that strap ready. Press the ankles, the shins, the knees, the thighs down. Inhale, raise your arms up. Bend from the top of the thigh, hold the sides of the feet, get the back ribs into the back, triceps up, side ribs long. Don't just throw the head like that. Now bend the elbows higher than the shoulders to your capacity. Bend forward, those who have the feet. Get the back ribs in, Shraddha. Spread the toes. Spread all the toes so there's a space between. Lengthen the legs forward. Move the, the dorsal in. Breathe. Who's breathing heavy? Breathe normal. Chin away from the sternum. Side ribs forward, back ribs in. And now inhale and come up. Bend the elbows high. Then she did, there's a recap to the video here, so I'll stop it there. And now going back to the screen share of the PDF. So what is next? Deshikachar is next, of course. TKV Deshikachar the middle son of the professors of uh, Sri T. Krishnamacharyas. So that is uh, Surya Namaskar now in his instruction. So I'll stop share. So the sequence of Surya Namaskar is now found in this book by Deshikachar, but uh, it's a worthwhile book by Deshikachar, sir. The Heart of Yoga. I believe it was published in uh, 1990. Let me just make sure of that. No, 95. 1995. And now I'll show a video of its of its depiction. Also to note, in the uh, preliminary course by Ita Iyengar, she mentions the mantras, but I can say from experience, I haven't been to an Iyengar class where any of the Iyengar teachers teach with the mantras whenever Surya Namaskar was uh, instructed in, in the class. Surya Namaskar wasn't a, a feature in many of the classes I've I've taken, and I've taken quite a few, uh, because more so it's it's uh, in the style of uh, what you saw this instruction for, like the example Paschimottanasana. So less so the dynamic approach, such as a suite, a flowing sequence like Surya Namaskar, which incidentally, as you saw, once the students are are familiar with the positions, uh, it's uh, sequenced rather quickly. So it's even slightly quick, quicker than uh, what we see in Ashtanga Vinyasa, I, I, I'll say. Um, so anyways, in Ashtanga Vinyasa, it's uh, this elegant flowing uh, motion. In Iyengar Yoga, of course, it's notably this precision of movement and action. And now let's see what uh, what uh, is to be said and found in the teachings of TKV Deshikachar, the middle son of the professor Sri T. Krishnamacharya's in uh, showing his uh, understanding of Surya Namaskar. So I'll pull this video up now. So TKV Deshikachar, of course, taught um, Vini Yoga, which is an individual application, a method of individual application. So now here is the screen share. And notice that this video also includes 
use of chanting. So I'll, I'll note that the chanting, of course, must be done on exhale. You're not supposed to chant on inhale. It's only on exhale. And uh, every single position will be indicated with uh, a different chant, usually using, in this case, the bija mantras, the uh, seed mantras. So they're uh, potent sounds that are called bijas or seeds. So they are hram, hrim, hrum, hraim, hraum, hraha. There's six in number. Of course, there's 12 positions total. Like I was alluding to earlier, each position in this case, having mantra. So then you repeat the sequence of six bija mantras. Hram, hrim, hrum, hraim, hraum, hraha for the subsequent second half of the uh, sequence. So you complete, complete the first uh, half of the, up to uh, position six, as you might call shat, the Sanskrit word for six, sixth position um, was the conclusion of the first half of these bija mantras, then it uh, proceeds from there. So let's look at how Surya Namaskar is typically conducted in Deshikachar teachings. I shouldn't say typically because it's not always with mantra. Here it is with mantra. And uh, like I said, some everything is done on exhale when chanting. Some of these movements are typically done on inhale, but it's adapted so that one takes a quick inhale as a singer might and then uh, exhales chanting going into the next position. So one is moving with the breathing, with the chanting. One moves while chanting. This uh, also uh, in Deshikachar teaching sometimes is done without the mantra. So with the typical flow of the inhale, exhale for the inhale oriented positions and then the exhale oriented positions. So we'll look at that uh, individually. Let's let's see. So, of course, this is a demonstration. Now, we are going to see an illustration of chanting, substituting each inhale and exhale. For this purpose, we have taken Surya Namaskar. The Surya Namaskar Bija Mantras are going to be used as the chant. Now, stand in Samasthiti. Now remember, inhale and exhale are substituted by chants. Now start as you chant. Om Hram. Pause for a moment. Now the next chant, next movement. Om Hrim. Pause. Now, Om Hrum. Pause. Om Hraim. Pause. Om Hraum. Pause. Om Hraha. Middle of the sequence. This is the prostration. Om Hraam. Om Hreem. Om Hroom. Hraim Om Hraum Om Hraha So here, every movement done on exhalation in order to chant. So like a singer might quick, 
quickly inhale before singing the next phrase as such. Um, also note that the arms were taken up from the front. This is a uh, something that uh, you see a lot with Deshagachar teachings. Uh, he tended to emphasize inhaling with the arms from the front. Ramaswamy teaches this too, but he emphasizes more so inhaling, breathing, raising the arms from the sides. Um, so he teaches both as variations, but just Deshagachar emphasized from the front and Ramaswamy emphasized from the sides. And now if I turn the volume down, I'll just show how it might be um, instructed with the regular flow of inhale, exhale. You can see the, the pace of this is quite a bit slower than what we've seen, both in Ashtanga Vinyasa and in BKS Iyengar and Iyengar teachings. So let's go back. Samastiti. Now. Let's call this a, uh, the first position we'll, we'll, we'll call Akam. So. Ekam, inhale. Dwe, exhale. Trini, inhale. Chatwari, exhale. Pancha, inhale. Shat, exhale. This is the closest we get to a prostration. It's not a full prostration, but it's Chaturanga Dandasana. Then Sapta, inhale, second half. Ashto, exhale. And then Nava, inhale. Dasha, exhale, Uttanasana. Then it, Eka Dasha, inhale. And then Dvadasha, exhale. So he moved through the second half a little quicker because they didn't in, include pauses. Uh, again, this is just for demonstration purposes only. Uh, why it may not have been, um, uh, what's it called? Consistent in that, in that case. But you can see it's long breathing. That's the point. And incidentally, uh, the jump was not indicated in this case. It was a as a, a more explicit step back rather than the jump back. Of course, it, it can be an option. One can jump or step back, or one can jump or step forward. Here it was more explicit, it more explicitly um, instructed to be a step back as an a step unto itself that became trini the third position that was the third position and then of course uh, coming out um what would that be uh, uh it would be uh, Ekadasha. i think uh dasha just the tenth position would be that one because then after Ekadasha would be Uttanasana, or maybe it would be Nava, rather. Ninth position, the step forward, 
then after Uttanasana on Dasha, 10th position, Ekadasha raising the arms up, and then Dvadasha lowering the arms, counting Samastiti as the, the final position because it, there's a mantra for that one. Uh... So that's Om Ha Ha. So I'll stop share now. And now I wanted to show, of course, like where we were doing, looking at the example of another asana, as in Paschimottanasana. So I'll I'll, uh, I'll pull that up now. And I'll we'll also look at uh, Purvottanasana. So these, of course, this is only for demonstration purposes. So they're not in they're not showing how to then stay in the posture. They're just showing the krama to get into the asana itself. So here also notice the position for Dandasana is a little different the way Deshikachar tends to teach it. And the raising rather from the front rather than from the sides. Like uh, Paschimottanasana. So this is the Dandasana staff pose as Deshikachar tended to teach it with the palms in front on the thighs. It's different than what you saw in BKS Iyengar's Light on Yoga or in Ashtanga Vinyasa's uh, Adab Joyce's presentation of Ashtanga Vinyasa, like in Yoga Mala. And even in Krishnamacharya's uh, books, the photographs of, photographs of him performing Dandasana is much in the sim same way that you see BKS Iyengar in Light on Yoga or Patabi Joyce in Yoga Mala. Dandasana indicated with the palms on the floor, rather, by the sides of the hips. Just a distinction here. Ramaswamy uh, teaches Dandasana like we see the photographs of Krishnamacharya with the hands on the floor by the sides of the hips, which is the same way you see BKS Iyengar indicate and Patabi Joyce indicate. In any case, just that difference, the way Dashikachar taught Dandasana. Let's, let's go ahead and watch now. Sit on a mat. With legs straight, extended forward, feet together, back straight, shoulders relaxed, chin down, eyes closed, palms over thighs. This is the starting position. On inhale, raise arms from front until arms are across ears. Head stays down. This is Dandasana. Now, on exhale, bend forward using low back. Hold both feet from sides, keeping both arms straight. On inhale, stretch the back, allow it to arch while continuing to hold feet. On exhale, relax the back, bend further till head touches the legs. This is Stiti in Paschimottanasana. On inhale, move head and trunk away from legs. On ex exhale in this position, allow the back to relax. On inhale, raise arms and torso to the vertical position. On exhale, lower both arms from front and relax. So there was a similarity that there's the concave phase on inhale and then exhale, bend forward completely. Similar to what we've seen in Iyengar Yoga and, and Ashtanga Vinyasa, and even what's indicated in Krishnamacharya's Yoga Makaranda. Now let's see the counter pose, Purvottanasana. Purvatanasana, sit on a mat with legs straight, extended forward. 
So again, Dandasana indicated uh, rather with the palms in front on the thighs, different than how you typically would see Krishnamacharya photographed in Dandasana or his pupils uh, BKS Iyengar or Patabi Joyce, or even the way Ramaswamy sir indicates for Dandasana, rather in a classical fashion with the hands on the floor. Anyways, let's watch. Feet together, back straight, shoulders relaxed, chin down, eyes closed. Place palms behind at a comfortable distance on the floor, on either side of seat with fingers pointing forward, elbows slightly bent. This is the starting position. On inhale, raise hip without bending knees. Keep feet firmly on the floor and throw head backwards. This is Purvatanasana. On exhale, bring hip and legs to the floor. Arms to the front and relax. So we'll stop share. So you can see, again, it's demonstration purpose. So they're not showing a repeated, like dynamic movement coming in and out, which is something that uh, in Deshikachar teachings, Mohan teachings and Ramaswamy teachings, they tend to practice uh, going to and from the posture, training the muscles that take you into the posture equally as the muscles coming out of the posture also stretching a wee bit more each repetition, let's say repeating three times, and then one can stay on the third time for a number of breaths. So that's not shown here, of course, this is just for dem demonstration purposes only. And uh, uh, yeah, so I'll proceed now. Going back to the document to illustrate the PDF. So here is a uh, pictorial representation of uh, what we saw in the videos. So this being the center of the sequence, the closest thing that we come to full prostration this is the Chaturanga Dandasana. So we have a cup inhale, dve exhale. Trini, inhale, chatwari, exhale. So it's a, as if instead of doing chaturanga dandasana, one is doing um, adho mokashvanasana, which then is similar to what we saw with BKS Iyengar. If we go back to even this representation, but uh, let's go to the preliminary course. Stepping back to Adho Mukhashvanasana, then Urdhva Mukhashvanasana, then Surya Namas, uh, then uh, Chaturanga Dandasana as a stand in for the prostration, then Urdhva Mukhashvanasana, Adho Mukhashvanasana, and then rather stepping forward. So th this. Uh, Surya Namaskar, as indicated in the Iyengar preliminary, cor preliminary course, actually is similar to what is indicated by Deshikachar, except instead of the third movement being jumping back itself, we're taking a step back, and that is counted as a position itself. So, Chatwari, exhale, then pancha, inhale, shut, exhale. That's the center of the sequence. That would be hram, hrim, hrum, hraim, hraum, hraha. Then the sequence starts over in the chant. So that's sapta, inhale, seventh movement. That's hram, and then uh, ashto, eighth movement, exhale. That's the eighth movement. So that'll be hrim. And then inhale, stepping forward and bending the back, like you might for trini, you know. So that's, uh, so that's on nava. 
and then Dasha, 10th movement, exhale, Uttanasana. And then Eka Dasha, inhale, come all the way up. And then Dva Dasha, the 12th movement, finally bringing the hands down, Samastiti. And that would be Hram, Hrim, Hrum, Hraim, Hraum. And finally, ha, ha, the Bija mantras, seed mantras. Now, as far as the Paschimottanasana and the Purvottanasana, here's a pictorial representation of what we just saw. But of course, the pictures don't convey the, the, the quality of the movement with this long breathing. So that's why it helps to actually see a demonstration of how the movement is to be conducted. It's quite profound to, to perform these movements like this, I'll say. Maybe it'll seem negligible while we're just moving a bit slower. Don't knock it until you try it. Again, it's sort it's the sort of thing like it might seem out like from the outside, it might seem boring, might seem more like watching paint dry, but it's quite profound to practice in this manner. It's it's very inward focused. It's less concerned with um, external um, external um, forms and fantastic asanas. It's more an inward journey through the breathing. So in that in that sense, this is what. Krishnamacharya's children teach. They teach this slow breathing uh, practice. This is the nectar that the professor Krishnamacharya chose to emphasize to his own children. And is also the same kind of practice we see with other pupils of his, like Srivatsa Ramaswamy and Eju Mohan. So just to show that this is what was integral and important to the professor Krishnamacharya. It's almost like in the, the Bruce Lee movie, Enter the Dragon, and, and there's a scene where he's guiding a pupil just in a lesson, and he gets angry with the pupil because he's trying to um, illustrate a, a, a metaphor and a lesson and he's using the moon as a metaphor. And then he gets angry at the student. Don't, don't look at the finger that points to the moon. It's, to me, it almost is like that. If you choose to focus rather on the asana itself or in a macrocosm on the, the sequence of the asanas themselves, what about this this uh, sacred act of breathing, like the Soham uh, mantra, Saha and then Aham. I am Aham. I am that Saha. The, that's built into our breathing process. So each breath is, is Samantraka in a sense. So all of this, even without mantra itself, can be considered to, to have integrated into it this uh, Soham mantra, if you will. <laughs> um, but this is part of, this is where Krishnamacharya is actually coming from, the importance of the breathing.